This is the view from the shelter. We survived. A lot of water on the trail today. Very cold, it's in the 30s, and very windy, so the wind chills down into the 20s. I climb right out of camp to warm us up. Last night was crazy, or all day yesterday was pretty crazy. Getting into camp and like getting to the shelter like 10, 30, 11. And then the storm just raging until last night. The rain stopped mostly between five and six. The winds just kept howling. Eventually switched directions and howled some more pretty much all night. They're still pretty howly this morning up there, but not quite as bad as last night. We were glad we were in the shelter. A lot of people had to tent camp around the shelter. I think everybody's tents held up, but that was sketchy. <laughs> Ready for this? Slow going today with all the mud and water on the trail. I think we've had about two inches of rain in the last two days. <laughs> There's no shortage of water though. We can fill our bottles about any place. <laughs> Lots of stuff blown down from the storm. Been causing tons of blowdowns. on a ridge. Mountains everywhere. When a rock gets in your way, you just go over it. Official Appalachian Trail toilet area. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what it looks like. We'll keep moving. <laughs> no toilet paper though. <laughs> no. Dig a hole anywhere around here. It's official though. This is the area you do it in. This is the campsite that we were supposed to get to last night before we had to get off because of the bad storms. So we've made it this far. We're going to have a long day today because we've got to make up what we didn't get done yesterday. We only hiked half a day yesterday before we had to stop due to the weather. So today may be a 12 day, 12 mile a day if we can do it. We've got to go up over Albert Mountain. We're going to hit the 100 mile mark. Woo! <laughs> We're heading up Bear Pen Mountain first. And then Big Butt Mountain, then Albert Mountain. The first two are gonna be pretty small. They're not, it's not supposed to be terrible. And Albert is our 100 mile mark, and that's where the 
power is with the 100 miles written on the steps. So that's gonna be really special getting up there. Very exciting. Our first 100 miles. Not sure if we're climbing Bear Pin or Big Butt or if we're beyond those <laughs> and are already on Albert. But there's a big mountain in front of us. And I think that must be Albert because the other mountains were smaller. We're way up high. This is our trail, isn't it beautiful? All the little waterfalls. looked it up on our um, app, Far Out app. We finished Bear Pen, and now we are going up Big Butt, and then Albert is next. And Albert is 5,200 feet, I believe, in elevation. But we're not starting from zero, so we don't have to climb all of those feet. After several days in a row of rain, everything gets a little damp. So this is what hikers do. Our first glimpse of the tower on top of Mount Elbert, the 100 mile mark right there. We're going up now. This is Albert. I've been going up a little bit. <laughs> Now we're going to go up a lot really fast. These are big steps. Even more. But at least it is short. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have very far to go on these stairs. Just a lot of elevation at once. Maybe better than a lot of switchbacks, I don't know. Whew, that's a climb. And above it, you see, there's a white mark there, but do you see the one above it on that big rock? Yeah, we gotta go up there. This is the part that I guess is a rock scramble. There's some steps here. So hopefully won't be too bad. There's a little ladder to climb. Look at this. Fun. This is gonna be really fun. This is our route right up there. This is where we're going. Up that. These are the serious miles. Oh, they are making us work for it. We gotta climb this rock, and then I think we're almost there. Hooey! Can't breathe. <laughs> Another climb up this. Yep, this is the trail. See that white blaze right up the cliff? You see the tower at the top? We're almost there. There she goes, up, up, and away. Look at that, wow. We are definitely at the top of the world. And that's the cliff we just came up. Nothing sketchy about that. <laughs> There's the fire tower up there.
and our 100 mile mark. <laughs> there it is. Hundred miles. We only have to do this 22 more times. Woo! That doesn't sound that hard. No. <laughs> no. Hey, this is easy without a pack, guys. <laughs> It's windy up here a little bit. Oh wow. Walking up and here is this, the 100 mile mark. The tower has the 100 on it, but each year it changes just a little. And so I think this might be the official spot um, because of reroutes and stuff, the mileage changes a little. So this may be the exact official spot, but I don't know for sure. Either one, I'll take it. We've still done 100 miles. Awesome. Wow, coming off Albert Mountain, it's a highway. Super easy. We're gonna put in some good miles here if it stays like this very long. All right, this is the trail. It looks like a creek, <laughs> but it's actually the trail. <laughs> oh, and there's a waterfall. Some uphills, but they've been pretty smooth and easy so far. We have a, another mountain or two to climb, I think, before we reach the shelter. We're getting picked up in the morning to go to Chica and Sunshine's Hostel at 11. So we're having to do a long day today. It is going to be about 12 and a half miles which is longer than we planned to do. But we got stopped by that storm for over half a day yesterday. So we had to do extra miles today. But really, it has not been hard at all. It seemed pretty easy. Um, Albert Mountain was the only thing that was even a little bit hard. The trail's been pretty easy, other than slippery and wet <laughs> and watery. <laughs> But it hasn't been bad today.
almost to camp. This is, looks like a park or something. It's so, there's not much brush or anything under these trees. We are at the shelter. We made 12 and a half miles today and I feel pretty good. So, don't feel like I've done 12 and a half miles. Some steps here. Sorry about bouncing the camera around. But there's a beautiful brand new shelter right here. This is Rock Gap Shelter. And there's the little privy down there. We're some of the first ones to stay at Rock Gap Shelter. They just finished it a few weeks ago. It's a brand new shelter. It still smells like fresh paint. I wish you could smell it. But this is so cute. Look at this. Third grade class did pictures of safety on the trail, things to watch out for. Roots and logs, copperhead snakes, not hike at night or in the dark. It's dangerous rocks and cliffs, poison ivy, black bears, beware of coyotes, bees, um, temperatures and weather, that's the big one, and rattlesnakes. And back here there's clothes and stay on the trail, that's a big one. Get about. Uh -huh. Ramblin' man. Ramblin' man. Bail out. And rain. And we are at the Rock Gap Shelter. Yep. Brand, Brand new, new shelter. shelter. Still smell the fresh paint. Yep. And we have a fire. Good <laughs> weather for it. Okay. It's a little chilly. I think Ramblin' Man's going to cook his dinner over it. Yep. He got a squirrel earlier. <laughs> 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 